So this time we're going to be finding the nth root of a complex number. We're going to be using De Moivre's theorem to do it. Um, probably not pronouncing that right. Use De Moivre's theorem to solve z cubed equals negative 2 minus 2i in polar form. All right, so step one is going to be to put this into polar form. So let's get on to that. Now remember, polar form is going to be r cis theta. Now, r is going to be the magnitude of negative 2 and negative 2. Uh, now, you can do the maths there, but it's going to be root 8, negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared. And then the theta is going to be uh, shift 10 uh, of the imaginary over the real, uh, negative 2 over negative 2. All right, so that's going to be root 8 cis shift 10 of 1. We end up with root 8 cis uh, pi on 4. But consider what quadrant you're in. Negative 2, negative 2. You're in the third quadrant. So it's not pi on 4, it's 5 pi on 4. Now I just need to add in a little complication here because we can write it as root 8 cis 5 pi on 4 but that's only one set of polar coordinates for this. Um, what that means is that it's root 8 in this direction and we've only used the angle 5 pi on 4 but we could have also used the angle all the way around 5 pi on 4 plus 2 pi. Or we could have used the angle once around, twice around, 5 pi on 4 plus 4 pi. Or round and round and round, 5 pi on 4 plus 6 pi. So to add in, to account for this, we're going to say that z cubed is equal to root 8 cis 5 pi on 4 plus, um, here we go, 2k pi perhaps? 2k pi, where k is a natural number. So that means that it's going to be root 8 cis 5 pi and 4 plus 2 times 0 times pi. At, or it could also be root 8 cis 5 pi and 4 plus 2 times 1 plus pi. Or root 8 cis 5 pi and 4 plus 2 times 2 pi. So we keep, we, we can use k0, k1, k2, k3, k4, and each time we do, we create another revolution here. So there's a, an infinite number of ways, I guess, to write negative 2 minus 2i in polar form. But here we are, z cubed equals root 8 cis 5 pi 4 plus 2k pi. Now if z cubed equals root 8 cis 5 pi 4 plus 2k pi, that means that z must be equal to all of that to the power of one third. So I'm just raising both sides to the power of one third. That's going to make z to the three z, and it's going to mess with this side. 2k pi. Now this is where de Moivre's theorem comes in. All right, so this is de Moivre's theorem. We can simplify this a little bit just by saying that cis theta to the power of 1 on n is equal to cis and then 2k pi plus theta all over that n value there. All right, so if we do that, we've got root 8 to the power of 1 third. That's uh, 2. And then we have cis... 5 pi on 4 plus 2k pi. And we need to divide both of those things by 3. So if I divide both of those things by 3, it'll be 2k pi divided by 3, and it'll be 5 pi divided by 4 times 3, 12. So now we know that z equals 2 cis 5 pi on 4 plus 2k pi on 3. Now we just need to sub in some k values and get some answers. First one we'll do is sub k equals 
0. So that's just going to cancel out all of this stuff here. So that means that uh, z is going to be equal to 2 cis 5 pi on 12. Oops, root 8 to the 1 third is not 2, it's root 2. So z equals root 2 cis 5 pi on 12. Uh, that's going to be one solution. We can sub in k equals 1, and we get z equals root 2 cis 5 pi on 12 plus 2 times 1 times pi times 3, 2 pi on 3. Now, if I group these, I multiply that by 4, that's going to be 8. 8 plus 5, 13. Root 2, cis, uh, 8, uh, sorry, 13 pi. 13 pi on 12. So there's my second answer, root 2, cis, 13 pi on 12. And then finally, if I sub, if I sub k equals 2 in here, I get z equals root 2 cis 5 pi on 12 plus uh, 2 times 2 times pi, so 4 pi on 3. Okay, and we can work through that. 5 pi on 12 plus 4 pi on 3, multiply that by 4, multiply that by 4, I get 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. 21 pi on 12. All right, so got three answers here, and just need to go back and tidy up your answers a little bit. Z equals root 2 cis 5 pi on 12, that's no problem. Root 2 cis 13 pi on 12, uh, that can be rewritten as root 2 cis negative 11 pi on 12. Okay, otherwise you're going more than once around the, the circle, we don't really need that. And this one here can be rewritten as root 2 cis um, uh, negative pi on 4. Uh, just divide top and bottom by 3. Think about what quadrant you're in and you should be good to go. Alright, there are our three solutions uh, finding the nth root of a complex number.